Drop bars are arguably the most popular handlebar type for a very good reason. They give you a lot of hand positions and they're very versatile, they're comfortable, they look dope, and they are dope. But when it comes to choosing a drop bar because they are so popular, the choices can get very overwhelming. Should you get standard drops, compact drops, or something in between, or even beyond. Well, to help simplify things for you, the two most popular types of drop bars by far are the standard drop and the compact drop. So in this three minute Thursday, let's take a look at the differences between them. So hopefully by the end of this video, you can figure out which one is best for you and your bike. By the way, three minute Thursday is sponsored by Wabi Cycles. Check them out linked at the top of the description. Firstly, what's the difference between standard drops and compact drops? Standard drops usually have a drop, that is how far down from the clamp of your stem you have to reach, to get into the drop position of about 135 to 150 millimeters, and a reach, that is how far out from the clamp you have to reach, of about 80 to 90 millimeters. Compact drops, on the other hand, are going to be shorter and shallower than standard drops. They usually have a drop between 115 and 125 millimeters, and a shorter reach of 65 to 75 millimeters, hence the name compact. Whether one or the other is best for you is going to depend on what type of bike fit you're looking to achieve. Standard drop bars are going to help you get a more aggressive fit since they are deeper and longer. Because of that, they'll allow you to get into a more tucked position and be slightly more aerodynamic than compact drops. They look great and timeless on just about any bike. On the downside though, they can be too aggressive for you and even painful for your back and your neck. If standard drops are too aggressive for you, you may find yourself never using that drop bar position thus defeating the entire purpose of having drop bars. Because they do have a more aggressive and aero tuck fit when you are in the drops, they do have less visibility, making them not great if you ride in big groups or in a lot of dense traffic. Compact drop bars, on the other hand, remedy a lot of the problems that people have with standard drops. By comparison, compact drops strike a nice balance for being aggressive enough while still having a lot of comfort and versatility. Because the drop portion is shallower, you don't have to bend as far down or reach as far to get into that drop aerodynamic position. Even if they are just a few millimeters shallower than standard drop bars, when it comes to bike fit, every single millimeter counts. And that few millimeter difference can be the difference between you never touching the drop portion of your bike and you having an extra entire hand position. And because compact drops aren't sticking your face in your front wheel as aggressively as standard drops, you will have better visibility while riding in the drop position. And compact drops tend to give the cockpits of a build a more modern look. On the downside though, they may not be aggressive for some. You may not be able to get as aerodynamic as you want on these things. And some people, like myself, can find the drop position of compacts to be a little bit uncomfortable because the drop is so shallow. It can lead to some people's wrists bumping into the tops of the handlebar. Both of these shapes of drop bar exist for a good reason. They are useful for different people. If you take a look at any pro road cycling peloton, most people are going to be riding compact drop bars. But if you take a look at track cycling, the vast majority of handlebars you see there are going to be standard drops or track drops, which are even deeper than standard drops. But if you tried drop bars and you just can't seem to get the fit right, be sure to check out my video, Bike Handlebars Explained, to see which handlebar may be right for you. And Fixie Famous shoutouts to Ryan Witt, Robbie Andaya, David K, Ellie Lovelace, Justin Javier, Calvin Ho, Julian Corona, The Fix Federation, OC Bike Crew, Stand Strong, 108, Brandon Black, and Zane Kolnick for helping to make these fixed gear and cycling videos possible for their support on Patreon. And remember, life is short, but don't make it shorter. So, ride your bike every day to be reasonably dangerous.